This episode of the Game Breaker Show is brought to you by us. Check out GameBreaker.tv slash deals for deals on all the newest games coming out. Right now, you can pre-order Wildstar and get yourself 20% off. That's right. Game's not even freaking out yet. And there's a discount there. GameBreaker.tv forward slash deals. GameBreaker TV. Internet and welcome to the Game Breaker Show, the channel where all the shows this week have the same music because somebody forgot to get the music files from Gary before he left for GDC. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Mike Bird filling in for Mr. Gary Gannon, who is at the aforementioned conference. And joining me, you know him, you love him. It's the Herrick Crane, Mr. Pat Crane. Hello. How, How are, are you, you? sir? I'm doing well. My, my box is not the same size as your box, however. Uh, well, so I, I know that there was you. a little bit. I, some people in the pre-show have a little bit of a problem with it, uh, <laughs> but we're just gonna have to deal now, aren't we? <laughs> I appreciate you noticing, sir. That's very that's very generous of you. You have a you have a very beefy box. This well, is what I'm saying. And yours me. is quite long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thank so Game Breaker, the show. If you've never been here before, this is the way we roll. We pick the top stories from the Game Breaker site. We review them. We give our opinions and generally just talk about whatever the hell we like and comes across our minds. So why don't we just get started? Yeah. We'll just jump right. in. We'll jump into the first one here. Sounds good. Uh, are you in this? Are you in this alpha yet? Uh, no, no. <sighs> I am not no. either, man. No. Olivia D. Grace is, and to Olivia D. Grace, I will say this just i don't know i don't know i i'm just i'm just so i'm just so upset well i don't want to say anything bad to her because i i really like her uh but uh but, but i don't want to say anything kinda, bad about her i really like her uh, but, but, at the same, but at the same time i kind of want to punch her you know it's kind of one of those deals uh because she's in the alpha i am i am not i know that uh, there are several other other people in uh the alpha as well and uh they are all having a lovely time and i've been watching all the streams and it looks really, really cool. It does. So. It does. And I'm not generally a MOBA fan, but let's get to it. Heroes of the Storm, sure. of course, a great place to start. All mm -hmm. kinds of news, strange news, actually, for, for this being just in an alpha right now. We got all kinds of info about unlocking heroes, skins, and all the progression info. If you, Tons of people checking this story out. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, could it be a <laughs> could it be a high profile Blizzard I, release? I don't know. It's well, it's kind of like you know you take uh, the, all the League of Legends fans; they're all curious about it, right? And then you take all the Blizzard fans, and those guys are really curious about it. And you combine those, and it uh, and it morphs into this wonderful, uh, wonderful collage of of mass mass amount of people that just kind of come up and try to absorb all this information as, as it's coming down. And uh, there's a lot to be had. Actually, so there's there's a few I want to ask you about being a, sure. a more of a League of Legends guy than I am and knowing. Uh, oh no, know, no, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. But well, you played <laughs> once, right? I, so. I played I played a few times, yeah. Oh, that's, and then I was that's... and then I was shamed out of the game forever. Yeah, I've played so few <laughs> that I used one of those. Uh, how long have you played? How long have your life has been wasted? Things and my profile, my summoner name actually comes back as zero. Uh, right. So I, right. that's how much. But I'm very yeah. aware of their payment model. I mean, I used to work for a, a exclusively free to play site, so very familiar with how they're running it. Let me run a couple of these mm -hmm. things by you. We bolded sure. them in the story on the site. If you haven't checked it out, uh, initially only a five slots available. I'm sorry. Each week there's six free to play heroes. Initially only five are available. The sixth one becomes av available once you get to level seven. And mm -hmm. here's the biggie: heroes can be unlocked with both gold. Or real money. Thought? Right. Um, well, I, it kind of feels a lot like Hearthstone to me. You yeah. know, I mean, if, if you can earn the gold to get these heroes, that's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, and then if you also want to spend real money on it, you can do that as well. So you can either invest time or, or cash, and it kind of works out to be the same. Hopefully it has that same feel as Hearthstone, because I think that um, I think they came to a good uh, equilibrium with the, with the store. 
uh, with that game. Yeah, that's going to be the biggie. I mean, if it because you actually don't start getting gold until level what is it? Level five is level when you're five, eligible yeah. to start gaining gold. But yep. if this ends up feeling like I've got to play for six months to unlock a hero, which I don't think Blizzard's dumb enough to do, right? Blizzard no, knows they're what not. they're doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think they would do this, but Justin, get more stories. Go away. We'll get to you in a second, Tattoo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, uh, yeah, so I don't want this to feel like a, I've got to grind for a month versus pay them $5, which I'm hopeful they won't do. Uh, but we'll see. Heroes can be tested out in single player. Try me before you buy them, which is so key. That's if you're huge. Gonna, if you're going to spend uh, any amount of gold or money, it doesn't really matter. I think that trying it out is really uh, super key. I know that I like doing that with other free to play yep. uh, stuff like Planet Side Two. Um, I kind of liken it to that, where you can try out the different guns and stuff like that before you buy it. Uh, which is really great. So hopefully it'll feel exactly like that or, you know, the MOBA version of that, I guess. The rest of it is kind of what you'd expect. Uh, they're really, really sticking yeah. to the League of Legends formula here. You know, some skins can be purchased with real money. Others are given away at events. Eventually you can get them by completing uh, Heroes Quest, the, the Heroes 6th Hero Quest. Say that five right. times real fast. <laughs> Heroes 6th no. Hero Quest. Remember the game Hero Quest? That was badass. Uh, yes, I do. Barely. Yeah, let's just date it's, ourselves a little more because we didn't do that enough during pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do that again later in the show. I think yes. it's the next story or it's, something. It's the very next story. <laughs> uh, finally, uh, the experience earned for out-of-game progression is earned from what you do in-game, from bonuses for winning and for playing with your Battle.net friends. So, again, That's we're cool. seeing the social platform they've been putting in place uh, and expanding with World of Warcraft coming to the forefront here, too. Make you use yep. it, we'll give you rewards. <laughs> right, right. Make your friends use it, and we'll give you rewards. Exactly. I, all in key. all, I can't bitch. Uh, no. It looks like the model we're familiar with, except there's a few Blizzard perks thrown in since they have cross-gaming. Yep. Uh, yep. All in all, thumbs up. Now I just need a freaking key. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Blizz... Because they're Anytime all watching now. right now. I'm, uh, like everybody, they they're sitting in I'm, the meeting room right now watching this. I might be uh, I might be uh, streaming soon if you uh, if you get it to me in the next oh say like 15, 20 minutes I can go <laughs> I can go and stream just very very soon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's date ourselves. Here we go. Oh yeah, chat. You yeah. can come with us, ladies and gentlemen. If you are of the age of the uh, the Mike Byrne or the Pat Crane. Right. Then right. you are about to be dated a little bit too. Yes. Gauntlet it's cool, though. is back and it's looking super shiny. I'm going to mute that so we can talk, but I'll let the, the trailer roll here. New updated version of Gauntlet coming this summer from Warner Brothers. And it's actually going to be part of a chain of titles, not just one. They're going to be based on a bunch of popular and original IPs. So looking pretty shiny. I, I will admit, though, and maybe you yeah. can maybe you, you can agree or not. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> the trailer really didn't do much for me. It really didn't until like the last eight seconds. Yeah, I mean, it was it wasn't um, it didn't really show you a lot. As soon as you started getting into gameplay, it started feeling really familiar again, and um, I, it it's always kind of, it, it it was kind of weird too because I get kind of nostalgic about that game i mean oh, like yeah. it has that certain look and i remember playing this in the arcade back when they had arcades <laughs> back when it was new <laughs> so so i mean I, I dumped a lot of money into, into this game and so Pat you know it's, needs it's like, food badly that's that's right so but i mean like the ghosts have to move a certain way you have to do this a certain way and and hopefully it has that same uh flair and feeling of the old original game either that or you know have the have the updated game but then along with that give us a port of the original wouldn't that be cool too i'd love that, that. definitely like, that would side be awesome. by side yes uh, i know Check. I doubt it's going to happen, but I mean, it's it, it would it be is. so Hashtag cool. Hashtag need food badly. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. At that point, I stood up and I cheered at my computer screen. I was so happy 
with hashtag need food badly. It would help if I bring your camera back up. Uh, <laughs> so check this out, though. I didn't realize this until dug into this a little bit. The original is 29 years old. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't remind me. 19, 1985, does right? Does not feel that Mid long 80s. ago, man. Does Mid not 80s. feel that long ago. No. Now, granted... Now, did- Granted, I was like four, almost five when it came out, so I was I was a toddler anyway, but still, damn. Right, right. That damn. was a long time ago, man. Now, did you have? Uh, did you play this a lot? Did you play this game a lot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so and then now, I, I liked, you... um, what was the, there was one arcade one that I couldn't, the Legends one. I, I couldn't stop playing that damn thing. Or was it Dark Alliance? Mm. Is, that where, is that what it was called, I think? Dark I Alliance. Know. There was just know. like 90 of them. Um, right. But I, yeah, right. I'm a huge gauntlet guy. So now, did you have a favorite character to play? Because there were four characters, right? There was yeah. the warrior, there was the Valkyrie, there was the the um, mage. Was it a mage? Wizard. Wizard. Yeah. And an, and, and then the, the archer, elf, right? The, ar- the elf archer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I anything the I like the the wizard, but that's generally just because I like casty classes anyway. Although the archer gotcha. was pretty badass. I didn't like the warrior. I didn't like having to get too close to things, <laughs> because See, now, there was a tendency to be surrounded yeah. very quickly. Right. Well, and that's why that's why you would go with the Valkyrie because the Valkyrie had the big shield, right? So right. So you could kind of you can kind of uh, maneuver through some of that, you know, more crowded areas and stuff like that. But I mean, I was always kind of more of a melee guy. Legacy. Thank you. Game. Dark Legacy. That's it. Chat. You rock. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. I didn't mean to interrupt, but that was no, a Dark right. Legacy. That was that's the arcade right. game. The, the arcade one that I got addicted to for a long time. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I. I I like the elf because it moved really quick. Oh, uh, the yeah. elf archer guy. But just the firing from range was just always kind of a little I don't know, it was just a little weird. Oh, Hopefully see that was that was that my out. game, man. I was I was, <laughs> that was the your range jam? guy. That was that was my jam as the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> uh looking forward to it this summer. Yeah. This yeah. summer. Can't imagine it's going to yeah. be too expensive if they're trying to do a I'm, series of games and get you to buy all of them. I'm in. That's all I'm, I'm totally going to say. In. I'm in. I'm totally I'm in. in. Totally I'm in. in. Chad, if you're in. in, put it in the, the comments below. Uh, you you all better be in. If you're not in, then you, you're doing this. This is a classic game, yeah, guys. Yeah, you're this doing is, this show wrong. It's if you're beautiful. Be, at least be looking toward it uh, to it uh, on Steam when it comes out this summer. So Gauntlet was be... the arcade machine that you had quarters lined up on the freaking screen. Oh, yeah. Because there was just a For line sure. at the damn thing back in the day. Yep. That when I and, was uh, young and went to the arcades. That's right. What do you that mean and, you don't uh, know what an arcade is? <laughs> <laughs> that and, like, Dragon's Lair. Yeah. Right? Well, that was, that, that was cheap. That was the 50, That was that cheap. Was like, that, that damn dra- thing was so cheap. That, that was just oh, yeah. a money sink. Oh, yeah. Grrr. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that aren't fair and don't look like they're a whole lot of fun... Oh boy. Check out this next story. And this this drew yeah. a, a a ton of traffic and there's well yeah. Oh Zork. Good call, chat. Oh Zork. Yeah. Uh Zork. Amazon probably made the ugliest controller we've ever seen. Yeah. It's true. So these rumors have been around for a while. Amazon getting into the console business and then there were even rumors of pricing where they would uh undercut the current generation. You know, by coming in at possibly like a three hundred dollar price tag, but they've all been rumors. And and then Amazon was a, doing some acquisitions and uh, and picked up Double Helix and some other studio workers. So it, it leads you to believe that the, these speculative speculative pieces are probably real. And then mm-hmm. you get this. Yeah, it's like the a brick um... with buttons. Yeah, it's like the uh, it's like a cell phone from 1995, right? So it's it's just the... <laughs> it, it totally is. <laughs> it's exactly like that, or it's or it's kind of like it kind of. Were you a Boy Scout as yes. a kid? Yeah. Okay, so you remember the 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 Pine Derby? Oh uh, yeah, the boxcar derby. The car, yeah, yeah. So you had the little car that you had to carve out of wood. This looks like the original chunk of wood <laughs> you yeah. would get for the derby. And then you would shave that into like a real thing, you know, the real thing that you were gonna race. So this is they're gonna they're gonna slim it down, they're gonna carve it up, they're gonna I don't know with what, but they're gonna 
that's my hope. Gonna have to use they got to do something. Big knife to carve this damn thing. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't it's even all over look. The place. It doesn't even look mild. First off, it's oversized, right? It's ridiculously sure. big. Uh, right. Don't know the scale on the photo here, but it just uh-huh. looks freaking big, and yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't look comfortable at all. No, 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 like, it, it really doesn't. It doesn't even look easy to use. No. <laughs> It looks it looks uh, torturous. I think is the is the word that I would use. I'm just staring at it, just in awe of its massiveness. Yeah, you should be in awe. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> now they've done some good things in hardware, like the Kindle Fire, right? Right, right, right. Great piece of hardware. Great pricing. You know, they put yep. themselves right in a in a good price point. But Amazon's getting so big. Saren in chat says this reminds him of the Dreamcast controller. I liked oh. the Dreamcast controller. This does not look mildly comfortable to me. <laughs> and they've this got all the media even... buttons at the bottom, right? The play, the fast forward, rewind thing. Okay, yeah, fine, yeah, but yeah. are you making a universal remote or, or a controller? So then, uh, so then you can do that with your Amazon Prime TV watching? Is that what you're planning on doing? I don't know what's going on Right, here. and not only I... that, when the console comes out, Pat, you can get yourself free shipping with your free trial of Amazon Prime, which you'll cancel within which, the 30 days. Which you need for to, to play the to play all the online games that they're going to have, right? Right. <laughs> so they're going to have all the games, and then we have, they have all the games to go along with all the TV and movies that they have, and then they have the free shipping on top of all that. Plus, Amazon Prime is going to 99 bucks now instead of 79 bucks. So let, so. let me ask you this, though. Sure. Um, could this potentially be... Not just the controller, but the entire console. Oh God! Something like remember on really? live, yeah, where it was a really it was like a small piece that did the wireless transmission or the wired transmission, and then you had the controller. Could we maybe <laughs> be seeing a cloud-based gaming, and this is oh, the controller and the the connection pieces, the internet Wi-Fi? Don't do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't do that. If the controller has to be that big to do that, don't do that. Do I mean, gosh, I don't know what you would uh, probably like one of those one of those Chrome sticks or whatever. Just make one of those to go along with it. I have no idea, but this just seems way too huge. Very very weird. Very weird. Yeah. Very very big controller. I I don't even know. It's a mess. Right. It's a mess. Uh, so good luck yeah. to Amazon. They, <laughs> good they've luck, gotta Amazon. Shave, they've got to shave this thing down. <laughs> <laughs> One would hope. Amazon gamers like it shaved. Uh, on to the next story. All this talk about boxes and shaving. Hey, and... hey don't bring what? up the boxes. That was pre-show. Oh, I'm now. sorry. That's I'm sorry. We're done with pre-show. <laughs> and mm. uh, now we will have a moment of silence. For our fallen heroes. Uh, well, something's falling in this picture, but I'm not sure they're heroes. Uh, oh, right. So from London's Super Comic Con, always got to have the cosplay in the show, and of course, Yaya Han. I actually really like Yaya Han. Does, does you know? She's no, uh, she's, she's not exactly shy about how much she's invested in certain things here. Right. Uh, well, yeah. but she's gotten a lot back too. I mean, she's been in all sorts of TV shows, and and uh, yeah, I mean, she is basically the queen of cosplay. Yeah. And she's featured right there on the on the very first picture. And then there's some other really cool um Yeah, so here's really the cool deal. Stuff. I mean, we normally do the the cosplay each week because cosplay, you guys you guys you love it. So, but we're keeping it balanced here today. Gary's right. Gary's fair away. Gary's away, so we'll keep it fair and balanced. <laughs> there there are some dudes in the gallery for you too. All right. Here, right. We, got, here we got Wonder right. Woman. It's not a bad costume. No, it's good. It's good. I've seen better ones. And there's women. there's some, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's it's all from the uh, from the London yeah. uh, Super Comic Con, right? I love the Catwoman suit. I don't particularly like this one, but there's something about a. I don't even think that's Catwoman. Am I, who is that? Uh, it's, is it Batwoman? I, I I'm trying. I'm not I'm trying to I can't figure out the headpiece so. off the back there. Like initially, at first glance, I thought she was doing Catwoman, but I think she's doing somebody else. Anyway. Oh my! Oh, oh my! Oh my! There's Bane. This looks yeah. awesome. Yeah, the Bane one's pretty cool. That's a really well. Oh, I guess it is Catwoman, even though it's got the big yeah. headpiece in the back. Cause there she is. Yep. 
That is Catwoman. So we got some dudes in here too, because this one's all about the costumes. I like I, this. This is a good one. I really like this uh, this particular one. Which, there's which, lots of there's lots of very there, well there's just lots of varied pictures and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Oh just, yeah. I, I really this like, was uh, you know I whether you like the that's awesome Wolverine. That oh yeah, is awesome. Yeah, but he's like he's like the he's like the tavern Wolverine. Oh, you know, definitely. He's like the guy definitely. that you want to have a beer with. And <laughs> <laughs> I might come on down have a pint, you know that kind of thing. It's uh, it's it's much more of that than it is the uh, the growly Wolverine guy. Little Star Wars so. for you. Oh, it's a great gallery. There's like 21 yeah. pictures here. Yeah. All not just all women's. There's the females and the males, and you got the mole and the jello put bops and all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, good gallery. Good gallery. Yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. C C chat. We could do cosplay in a meaningful and no, and never still mind. relatable way. Yeah, Ya Ya and... Han was the first picture, and I was I was done there. The rest right. of them are cool though. Uh, Yaya's Rest actually in a couple more of them too, isn't she? I didn't flip through uh, all of these. I'm I didn't pretty sure she's all. in a couple I more. Look. There's some cool ones though. So if sure. you're a, if you're a Yaya Han fan, yeah, check them out. Great cosplay. Uh, so they really did a did a nice job there in the, the ye old Londons. Yep, indeed. Speaking of things you like to click on. Whoa! Make sure you check out the Wild Star <laughs> deals. The the pre-orders officially started. A day and a half ago now, depending on where you are in this world of ours. But GameBreaker.tv slash deals, we've got it for you at 20% off. Now, I actually did mine uh, prior to this show, so I'm going to let you in on a little tip. I uh, used the Green Man Gaming one, and I got the digital deluxe thing, the, the $74.99 one or whatever. There's a code that is on GameBreaker.tv slash deals that you enter when you go to pay on Green Man Gaming. Uh, mm -hmm. If you copy and paste the code, for some reason it puts a space at the beginning of the code. So you need to delete Ooh. that space so that it will accept the code. Otherwise, it's going to tell you bad code. If you type it in manually, you're not going to have any problem. Uh, and it, right away, I thought the discount didn't apply because it didn't update my total. It will update mm -hmm. it as soon as you go to the next tab to verify your address. So 20% nice. off, already got mine, already ready for betas. I was already in the beta, so just had a little bit of updating. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a second copy because I do want the box version when it comes out. <laughs> Shut up, Crimson. Uh, sucker. Uh, but sucker. if you, dude, if you're going to pre order this, why not get 20% off? There is no physical sure. collector's edition, so go ahead and get your digital edition. Gamebreaker.tv slash deals. You get 20% off. And there's a ton of other games on there. I did Dark Souls 2 through the Game Breaker link, too. Ooh. I don't get that till April, but that's all right. I have it on the PlayStation, so I'll, I can nice. play it there, too. Check you it like out. that game? I do. I do. There, it, it's, Gary said it best. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love watching people play this, or I love playing it right. when I'm progressing, but I hate when I've got to do the same thing 40 times because I can't make it. Yeah. Moving yeah, on. I, are you, are you pre-ordering uh, Wildstar? No, you know, I'm so invested in WoW that I'm really kind of uh, doing. I'm still doing all that stuff, so you know, there's that. But and but I'm keeping a watchful eye on all the WildStar activity. So because it is very interesting and it's and it's a fun. It's a pretty fun game. I played it a couple of times. Um, I got to play it at uh, PAX last year. And that was a blast, and I um, I got to go in and, and play it a little bit more. So you know, it's a it's definitely a fun game. So. But you're not pre-ordering it. No. But if you if you were going to, you would do it at GameBreaker.tv forward slash deals. I definitely deals. would. Well, and, and that's because, I mean, think about it. You know, your gaming dollar can go yeah. a lot further. And then you can take maybe maybe you were budgeting for, for the full price of it, right? So then you have that in your budget already. Well, you can take the money that you saved and maybe put it to, toward a Steam game or well, something here, like here, that. Well, here, check this out. Like, Check this. this is what I this is what I did. I had done. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know we were gonna get these because these deals change, right? You know, yeah, we don't right, know right, how right. long some of them last. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why you got check the. I check the page every day because there's usually something I want to buy. Uh, I didn't know we were gonna get WildStar in advance, uh, and I had done Dark Souls like maybe a week and a half ago uh, to get right. the the April release, and sure. you had the option of getting ten dollars back uh, through some type of rebate. Or you could have twelve dollars in Green Man Gaming uh, store credit. 
So I took the That's $12 on the Dark Souls and just kept the credit. Then I go in to get Wildstar today. It's right. it's seventy four ninety nine. I get a twenty percent discount and then wow. another twelve dollars. I paid forty eight dollars for the digital deluxe Wildstar. Look at that! That's cool, man. Yeah, I mean That's you, great. you really can't beat it. So check it out. Those That's deals awesome. change all the time. We don't know when each one of them is going to expire. And when we do, when we do get a little heads up, you'll see it right on the page. We'll tell you. We give updates as to what's going on with various discounts. Check it out. GameBreaker.tv slash deals. Get yourself twenty percent off. And since there was no legendary today, mm -hmm. I thought we could discuss a possible rumor. Right. Well, it's not a possible rumor. It is actually a rumor. It's an official rumor. It's an official rumor. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, BlizzCon gonna... 2014 could be a little earlier than usual. So the well, website, we don't know about that. But, the, well, but, that's uh... the speculation. Right. Right. We're used to seeing this bad boy in October. The page is already updated, though. The virtual yeah. ticket page. They've changed right. the 2013 to 2014. Mm-hmm. And, kind you know, Kind of dumb last... to change it if you didn't intend to use it, right? Exactly. And and I think that we should hopefully be hearing something soon from uh, from Blizzard about this. Because I think last year, I'm trying to remember when we heard about BlizzCon 2013, uh, when they announced that it was coming down, and it was spring for sure. Uh, I, I don't have the date offhand, but I'm sure that the chat room will yell it out. Um, and it's kind of cool. They, they, so they've changed the website to 2014. That, to me, tells me that it's coming, and I'm hoping that it will be around the same time. Uh, that's, my, that's my hope. That's my plan. My speculation so. is it's next Saturday. Right. Next week, Saturday. That's that's probably the best best plan ever. No, you know what? It's, uh, it's <sighs> April job, 4th. Bro. It's April 4th. <laughs> April 4th? Yes. <laughs> to combat. They don't have any game to launch on the, uh, the launch of ESO, so they're just going to hold BlizzCon instead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Boom! April right. 4th. Congratulations. Blow it up. Here's, here's BlizzCon. That's right. No, they got. They, they have to actually uh, plan it, you know, well ahead because they know that they have people coming from all over the world to this place. And, uh, Bern, have you been there before? I have not. I've done the virtual ticket. I was going to go last year, but I ended up in the queue. And then Gary yelled right. at me because I should have just told him that I was going to be in the queue so that I just go with uh, as Game Breaker staff. So I got yelled at for that one. But I do plan right. to go 2014. So good, good, because it was so much fun last year, and it, we had such a blast, uh, both at the Game Breaker party and um, traipsing around uh, throughout the Hilton and the <laughs> and uh, the actual the actual uh, con itself. You know, I mean, we hobnobbing with uh, Ghost Crawler and Metzen, and everybody was meeting these guys. So it wasn't just us. I mean, they were. Yeah, out I mean, they and, came on the stream too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it was it was really cool. It was it was really neat to actually, you know, meet Ghost Crawler face to face and now he's with, with League of Legends, but you know, whatever. Uh he's gonna go <laughs> really see cool. what he can screw up there. Yeah, that's right. No, but it was really cool because he came to the Game Breaker party and, and and I was like, Hey, it's Greg Street and he goes, Hey, it's Pat Crane. I went, Holy hell, you know you know my name? <laughs> <What's going on?" laughs> so yeah, it was it was really, really cool. It was great to meet those guys. It was great to meet everybody out there, all the fans. Uh, just craziness, craziness. Chat out says there. that BlizzCon 2013 was announced in mid-February. Yeah, that sounds which about means right. Means we're late. Yeah, so I know that I know that people were kind of you know wondering what was going on, but remember we also had two years between uh, BlizzCons right. for the last one. They canceled but 2012. That well, they never they never announced it, so I don't know if they canceled they said they weren't now. having one. Right, exactly. Uh, Which made so, sense because they didn't have shit going on at that time. But they, but they did say at BlizzCon 20, 2013, at last year's BlizzCon, that they really missed not having that uh, year in 2012. So they really missed not having BlizzCon that year. So it makes sense that they want to keep this uh, streak alive and, and you know, or start a new one, I guess, uh, and actually do a BlizzCon every single year. I think that would be really yeah. great, and especially with how many properties they have now. This makes a ton of sense. I'll really tell you what, though. The, I, I, 
I was uh, super impressed with the virtual ticket. Like oh, I, yeah. I thought that was going to be pretty cheesy, and you know, I was I was it's actually good. really impressed. This was the first year I did the the virtual ticket and watched pretty much all of it. I was really right. impressed with the the multiple panels and being able to jump back and forth and the quality. Uh, I think maybe the stream dropped or choked for one or two minutes over mm-hmm. the entire weekend. It really did a nice job with it. I like I like yeah. the virtual. If you can't be there, definitely consider the virtual pass. And no, I don't get a check from Blizzard for saying that. I yeah, wish well, I did. No, I I did that in 2011, and and that was incredible. It was awesome. It was it was. Um, as close to being there as possible. And actually, you get a lot more information that way. Yeah, Shaftnet you know, said it's... the same thing, that you know, when you're actually at the event, you obviously cannot attend more than one thing at a given time. So right. you choose what you want to go see, and you miss out on anything else that's running concurrently. Where the, <laughs> the virtual pass, you jump back and forth. Well, the, ni- the nice part is if you go to BlizzCon, you actually get the virtual ticket. So right. um, you can but you, afterwards, yeah, afterwards, afterwards, you can go. Yeah. Yeah, you can go watch some stuff and and maybe catch some of the um, some of the action that's happening between shows or between panels because they have the announcers there with different members of the staff, right? So yeah, uh, and then you can find out more information that way as well. It's very very it's, it's cool either way. Very cool. Yes. Yes. Very yes. cool. Uh, last up, keep the lights on. Three it's minutes. Terrifying. Of, three minutes of video. Mm-hmm. 242 to be exact <laughs> at about 115 I was hoping that it was the end of it I don't want you it, to ruin it Pat it really peaked in the middle it That's really what did I thought. I thought so too I thought at the I thought the end was a little I mean it, don't get me wrong don't I mean, don't, you, don't spoil it if, yeah. if you have the lights out when you watch this that's what I'll recommend have the just great the little lights. short film turn off the lights Entry in 2013's Who's There Film Challenge and won Best Director Award at the BC Horror Challenge. Yeah, turn up, you turn have... up the lights and, and hold a flashlight like directly under your chin oh, that'd while be you awesome. watch this. Yes, <laughs> if you haven't seen that, as soon as this show is over, hmm. go to Game Breakers homepage and click on it. Mr. Pat Crane, you can follow him on the Twitters at Pat Crane, P-A-T-K-R-A-N-E, host of Convert to Raid, Host on yes. Legendary, doing all mm-hmm. kinds of TV show related stuff. He's just all over the damn internet. Follow him and he can tell you what he's doing. Yes, I'm very sorry, internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Bird filling in for Gary Gannon. You can follow me at, at MagicMan1. That's M A G I C K M A N N 1. If you're a fan of Diablo, go follow twitch.tv slash GB Nation. Not the stream you are watching now. You need to follow slash GB Nation. On Monday at 7 Pacific, that's 10 Eastern, myself, Magic Man, Kegels, and crew, we will be checking out and talking about the midnight release of Diablo Reaper of Souls. We'll be chatting about the game, the changes, what we like, what we don't like, and then after that, when it hits the midnight hour, you can jump in and play with the GB Nation if you want. Follow twitch.tv slash GB Nation, and if you aren't part of the nation... You need to be. Check it out, GameBreakerNation.com. This is Mike Bird saying, stay safe, and we'll see you out on the servers.